All right, so you're using Gravity Forms to collect data on your website, right? And now you're looking for a way to take that data and do something useful with it. So maybe you wanna build a testimonial page or display numerical data in a table, or maybe you want to allow users to edit their data after clicking submit. Well, all of that is possible with Gravity View. So I'm gonna be showing you a few examples of how this works. So here I've got a form on my website, it's a gravity form, and um, it's collecting data for business listings. So as you can see, there's space for the business name, summary, description, address, phone number, email, web address, and a featured image. All right, so when we collect this data, we're actually displaying it on the front end in a directory. So this is what it looks like. We've got a search bar at the top, and um, each of the businesses are listed here, one after the other. All right, and as you can see, we've got the business name, the summary here, the description, and the address down in the left. So there's also a view details link, if we click on that. As you can see, it takes us through to another page with some more uh, details about that particular business. So we've got the business email address and phone number as well and the full address. All right, and then we can even edit that entry um, if we just click the edit entry link here. And that takes us through and uh, it's allowing us to edit the name, the email and the phone number. And that's because we've set those fields to be editable while the other ones are not. So let's take a look at how this works on the back end. So if we just open up this view here, edit view. All right, so this is the gravity view view editor. So as you can see, we're currently on the multiple entries page here. And at the top there's space for, oops, there's space for widgets. So we've got a search bar widget here. We can open that up. And as you can see, we've got uh, three search fields here, but we can add more and we can change the, the settings there. We've also got some page links. And then if we scroll down, here are our fields. So again, these are all fields from our Gravity Forms form. And uh, this is the information that's being displayed. So we've got the listing title section showing the business name, the subheading showing the business summary. And then we've got the image section here with the, the business featured image and some other fields and a footer section as well. And then finally at the bottom, there's a bottom widget section. We can add more widgets if we want to. And this is a really intuitive um, editor, as you can see. It's actually all drag and drop as well. So we can just drag fields from one section to another. And if we want to add a new field, we just click this button. And here are all the fields from our form that we can add into the view. And there's also some extra ones too, including this custom content field, which allows you to add text, HTML, short codes, uh, merge tags, um, basically any kind of custom content. All right, and then if we scroll up, we've got the single entry tab here. If we click on that, this is the single entry layout. So uh, when we view more information about a particular listing, we can configure that layout here. And then the edit entry layout. So this layout allows us to um, specify which fields are editable and which aren't. Um, so this is a, a nice feature if you're running a directory and you want business owners, for example, or directory members to be able to edit their own listings and update them when they want to. You can configure the edit entry layout here, decide which fields they can edit, and um, make them editable on the front end. All right, so let's take a look at some more examples. So here is a book list. And again, this is all Gravity Forms data. And we've got the book cover here, the title, the author, some tags, and the category. And it's displaying in the Gravity View data tables layout. So if we click on one of the book titles, that takes us through to the single entry and we can view more information about this book. As you can see, 
And there's even a handy QR code here that we can scan to get the ISBN number. All right, so let's look at another example. Here is a audio library that we built. And again, we're using the data tables layout. Here, we are actually embedding music from SoundCloud. All right, and then finally, here is a beautiful testimonial page that we built. Once again, this is all data that we've collected with Gravity Forms. We've got a testimonial form where customers can um, give us a testimonial, add an image and their name, and then Gravity View takes that information and displays it in this beautiful testimonial card on the front end of our website. All right, so this has been just a quick um, demo of uh, the Gravity View plugin and some of the things that you can do with it. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about displaying Gravity Forms data or Gravity View, you can check out our website. It's in the description below. Or you can just leave a comment on this video and one of us will get back to you.